Jones out on defense. He's all the way back. As uh, Stevenson is inside it? the 30, flips it back. Stanford band nowhere in sight. Uh oh, it's picked off. Uh oh, oh no. Unbelievable. Oh wow. Incredible. Chandler Jones takes it in and wins the game. First of all, Ramondre Stevens, he goes rogue. Because he didn't get the ball and just go down. He said, you know what? They expected me to go down. Let me get some cheap rush yards. Yep. Okay, Skip, let's just say, okay, he's already broken protocol. Yep. Now, how about you got your little 34 yards, you've padded your stats. How about just go down? No, 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 no. Let me try something. Let me pitch it back to Jacoby Myers. And to make matters worse, Jacoby Myers, you said the instructions in the huddle, run the ball, go down. Okay, it. once he throws the ball to me, guess what I'm going to do, Skip? Mm -hmm. I'm going down. Because after that, can't nothing, the only thing can happen after that is something bad. To lose a game in this fashion, you, I, I don't understand what Jacoby Myers was thinking, Skip. You're in a tie ball game. You're going to overtime. They were playing this like they were behind seven, yep. trying to make something happen like Miami did to them a couple years ago. Skip, remember the Miami Miracle? Yeah. Where they laterally and laterally, and all of a sudden, I think Kenyon Drake mm -hmm. takes off and goes the distance, and it ends up costing the Patriots home field throughout. They got to go to Denver, they lose, yep. and the Broncos go on and win the Super Bowl. This is crazy. I'm like, I couldn't believe. I was like, "What did I like?" I'm like, "Maybe, maybe uh, uh, the the score on the on the on the board on the on the TV is wrong, Skip. Yeah. Maybe it's wrong. Cause there ain't no way they're gonna they're doing this in this 24-24. That's what I'm thinking. Am I say, I say, is, am, am I seeing this correctly? I'm what like, what are world? you doing? With 30 seconds left, with unathletic Mac Jones, would you not just go to overtime? You're on the road. You're still in playoff contention. There's a lot on the line here. If you believe, Bill Belichick, that you have a superior game plan and coaching staff and as good a roster as the Raiders do, why would you be doing the fumble ruski lateraling back and forth in that spot? You don't have Josh Allen. You don't have Herbert. You don't have the kind of guy that can drive down the field in 40 seconds with no timeouts like Herbert was doing against the Titans. He's a different player. So I go sit down. I'm like, all right, this game's going to overtime. You know, they'll do something here, but it, it's going to be not, it's going to be inconsequential. And then I see the play happen, and I see Ramondre Stevenson running and then chucking the ball behind him on the lateral. And then Jacoby Myers is doing the same thing after a couple moments, trying to pass the ball or lateral the ball to Mac Jones, is what we found out the explanation was. <laughs> and as all of this is going down in my head, I'm thinking, why did you not just take a knee? Why didn't you just get down? Because this is the most basic thing in football. Like, you're going to overtime there. Don't try to be a hero. And uh, You know, you, you, you first said, why wouldn't you just take a knee right there? So at the end of games, at the end of halves, right, there's always the defenses in a prevent situation where the middle of the field is just a giant gaping hole while you could just drive a Mack truck through it. So you tend to run the draw right there. And then the guy gets as much as he can and that's it, give up, whatever. Stevenson, on the other hand, is a young dude who panics and never been in this situation before. Then Jacoby Myers, on the other hand, once he does that, he now panics because he hasn't been in this situation before and not knowing in his mind, okay, this is situational football. They do this every single day of practice and especially on the weekends on a Saturday or Friday prior to going to a game they're just going to run the clock out in this situation and that's it and then you play the, to the overtime and I understand you say well just take a knee and let it go to overtime or, or you know get down and slide and let it go to overtime whatever the case is they both panicked in this situation the Patriots would have been the very last team Yes. that we would have picked to have that kind of a breakdown because we've heard for 20 plus years how Bill Belichick coaches his team and how right. obsessive he is about situational football and do your job, right? All the cliches that have become baked into the Patriot way, another one, the Patriot way, it got turned on its head in one of the most memorable ways possible. We're in the studio doing, you know, a live TV show. And I think it was during a break that this happened. And I thought, Miles, 
that the Patriots were actually trailing and the score bug was wrong. Because that's the only explanation for this. The time has expired. It's tied up. You take it to overtime. You don't try to do the Stanford band play in a tie game. When have we ever seen anyone attempt a Stanford band play in a tie game? It doesn't happen. What in God's name was it like in the locker room? This is what the aftermath is for. Yeah, players are devastated. Devastated. Just not sure how else to describe it. One of the quietest locker rooms you'll ever hear. And really emotional. So Jacoby Myers needed a minute after reporters were let into the locker room, which the guy is nothing but generous with his time all year round. Uh, one of the easiest to work with players I've ever covered. Uh, but I think tells you in that moment just how crestfallen he was. But eventually speaks with us. Emotional. Completely puts it on his own shoulders. Players veteran and young players alike coming up to him trying to console him as he's sitting at his locker but he essentially said he tried to do too much he's trying to be a hero i guess no, and i great. think that's what that's what makes this such a devastating loss tom obviously you lose in that fashion no matter what it's going to rip your heart out I'm trying to do too much I'm trying to be a hero i guess you could call it i ain't see the dude back there trying to throw the ball like I said, I was just doing too much, you know what I'm saying? I just went down tomorrow. I think Jacoby's one of the best teammates I've ever had. I um, mean, he's a fighter, and he does everything he can to try and help the team. Um, obviously, you'd have to ask Coach about it and um, see, see what our plan was. But at the end of the day, the guy's out there fighting and trying to compete to win the game. And there's a lot of things I could have done better in the game, like I said earlier. So we, we're not even in that situation. So, and, you know, I don't play very well. I mean, we're in that situation, and it just it's terrible. So it's, it's tough, but I love Jacoby, and I love all the guys on our team. It's not Jacoby's fault. I think we just got to watch it and see what we can do better. Phil, I think there's a lot of conversation as to was that the play call? And Matt Castle, who would be no better expert on it, then he explains that, no, it wasn't designed. If you're trying to run that play and advising the players to start pitching it around at the end of the game, you would run it differently. You would run it in the middle of the field, not to the sideline, and not have anybody in position, really. This was a player going rogue in Ramondre Stevenson, which I suppose he decided to do because he probably made a hell of a lot more yards than he anticipated making. When that happens, though, is that, do you point to the players and say, you got to be smarter than that, Ramondre? you got to be smarter than that, Jacoby? Or do you point to the coaching staff and say, situationally shouldn't you have told them that it becomes that spider-man meme doesn't it yeah i just think it's absolutely ridiculous look belichick's like everybody else is like what the hell are we doing here but the guy tries to make the play and i tell you this is where they get in trouble so here's the pitch as soon as he turns around now they're in trouble yeah because now they're thinking we're going to do this well we see this happen all the time and here's a great thing we mentioned chandler jones missed the tackle he was smart as hell because in that situation, at the end of a game, you always defend against the quarterback. And and they were actually in position to do it that just in case well, I think, New England's stupid I, I think enough to, we to need continue to, be, to play. We need to be play. very clear for